And welcome to my YouTube. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the older, mature Mona Lisa that's on the left. It's called Me Dion. I, and this is the younger Mona Lisa. I introduce you to that many, many a times. I'm going to show you um, some images that are in between both paintings that is done by Leonardo da Vinci. My painting is a diary of his entire life. This is the x-ray of the Mona Lisa is her face over here and it looks like she's got her sunglasses and he does that because he has some uh, uh, signatures that he uses that have the double O. If you google uh, his signatures um, you'll you'll see that. Uh, maybe next time I'll be able to put up that signature thing. I didn't think of that. <clears throat> but anyway I want to push this on up and show you something. If you see this line running through here that's his arm see here's his arm and when you push this on up it fits a hundred percent a hundred percent exact same angle cut the whole shoot match problem is with my because we only got so big of it let's see how far down it goes up oh, doesn't go down far enough does it I was hoping to continue to go for my my arm to reach the, the hand but uh, it only gets to the knuckles as you can see and then it actually gets a little bit of the fingers you can see so um, here's the Mo Mona Lisa and you can tell the curvature here and how it curves here okay and the reason why it curves here and it curves here and continuously is because Again, if you follow my YouTubes, he makes it move across the room. It's going to be uh, quite interesting that you're going to see. Um, I got to move this just a hair because he floats it, so some of it uh, you do have to to move. Um, uh, that uh, if you follow the words, these are words. They're uh, well hidden, and you can see the angle of where the, uh, the blanks are. Sometimes fill in the blank. You've heard that in school. Fill in the blank. Okay, so we got that part going. Now, there's another thing here that is quite interesting. Right here is a um, head with a neck. And uh, if I take this, and this is where it gets interesting because i am um, got a real rough YouTube here because I have to switch it and see so there's a head but here's the head with the neck also so it was down below that's how well hidden it was if I pump this up now it's the same same image I just went into invert and this is the original one that came out of the um, off the net and when you you come over and you move this to this area now don't don't forget his his paintings move so he he places them throughout so, now here's the head and you can see the neck see the neck and you can see the neck and you can see the outline of the head of the exact same image so when you put this up watch it fits perfectly and and she fits perfectly over here and she moves across like this because I've seen the image start from one part over here and go clear off the page on this side and you can tell his works because it's like a flip book or a movie you see a movie they're moving across they don't sit still and and just spit out the words but you see you see these movements like you see how the image be here and then it drops down one notch, goes across, then it drops down again, goes across, goes across, then it starts angling up and angling up, and then it starts veering on an angle and going off. That's the way he rides his works. Because, for instance, for the guys to understand, when you watch a woman go down the road, she don't slide across the sidewalk like on a conveyor belt. Okay, so that means it would be like a Michael Jackson moonwalk, how slit, or I, th I do believe I'm explaining, or, or, or the conveyor belt. 
that she actually shifts her hips and moves. And that's what Leonardo da Vinci does with his paintings. He makes them move and gives them action. And and maybe maybe that's where they originated from. Action! Huh? And that's when the movie starts, you know? That's when they start filming. Action! Okay, so anyway, this is a Mona Lisa. This is a Me Dion. That's the man's hand in the, in the painting. And when you uh, take a look at this guy here, this is with wings, and he's got his head, and he's got his words that come across, and you can see the words swoop in here, and the words go down through here. Okay, these are not just blobs. If you really look at these little characters in here, that's a person, that's a person, that's a person, and so on. This is like a, a it's kind of like a, a, a caravan going all the way up and here's like Jesus or so at the front of, of the road moving on up. Okay, and that's the way he is. He's, he, he makes a story that they're climbing up the hill. And it's extremely interesting because this is only one layer. I as you've seen when I inverted it, it, it changed dramatically. So watch this. I'm going to take this one now and you invert it and you're going to see how massive change. See, it went from dark. See, it was darker up here. We're going to switch it back for a second and then we'll switch it again for you to see. Okay, darker up here, lighter down here. So he flip flops his work to make it hard that you're only seeing half a page in in, in spots. So he, he's extremely, I don't know how to emphasize, emphasize that, he, difficult to read. So um, if you can read me in the sense of what I'm trying to tell you, um, you're pretty smart. You see this, see this V here? There's the V, okay? And don't forget the hand comes through, you can see the line right here of the hand comes through so when I go to put it on up boom and it matches the V so these words in here match what do they match if you really take a look at it you'll see some of these they they look like a N a wild European N and some kind of like a butterfly cross here and when you get into here that kind of looks like an N and that kind of looks like a man that's on a horse. So, you know, I mean, these images are really extremely difficult. Here's like 9-9T, okay? And when you get over here, you have to, good luck finding it. But, you know, I'm telling you, you can see that you know you're in the right spot because have you ever done puzzles? Yeah, you take the piece and you say, whoa, whoa, that's the piece that actually snaps in. It snaps in. That's a Leonardo. And, and oh, look at that. Look at that. See this? Represents somewhat of an X, even though this one goes longer. Here you go. Watch. Boom. Going to go up. And that trip. Okay, here's the line. Okay, it's off just a hair. I shift it down. I can shift it one more time, I think. Yep. Boom. Here's the line. And here's this line. Wow. So we're pretty much in the right spot uh, for the, his original hit. And look at that. Underneath here is a heart. Okay. Up here, it's a blank. Why? But you can see the point. And you know that there was something big and round possibly there. So you know that that's probably one of his hidden works. And that's just Leo for you. And look at this has a number one here. Okay. Look at this. It looks like the number one. Okay. It's just the way he is. Even though it goes up further, don't forget, he makes his work go up and down so you're going to have an inch or two in variation look at that that's kind of cool a dot i dot i 
big old zigzag like salamander frog or some sort and these are I, who knows this kind of looks like a hippo all dressed out of white to me i mean you you know i i'm glad i i got my imagination in there i need it i need it with this guy <laughs> he's 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 got me pegged he's got me pegged in a sense uh of his work and look at you got this black dot and this black dot that means it can even go larger he can even open it up and if it did then it would go to this dot and this dot if not it would go to the smaller and smaller white dots and then it would go to another and another smaller white dots don't forget the color that is not dominant in a sense like the white right at this time you're noticing the black better but the white is a color to him and he has it hidden so his trait, his work, is that magnificent in the sense of making it difficult for me and you. So um, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That we have a Mona Lisa, we have a Leonardo da Vinci, and the two are actually identical. They're identical. They it's just that they have a different layers in each one that you have to pull and see so let's say I went down five layers let's say there's a hundred layers and I, I took off five sheets I might have to get to the same layer of that five sheets that would have 50 percent or 10 percent or something of that part I might have to go to number 16 that's the way he is he doesn't expose all his cards so anyway um, he's very extremely difficult and he and his codes are um, uh, something else too on on the writing and I apologize about the double O uh, signature I'll try to make it up on my next YouTube but since I had this set up and it took me uh, eight hours to do I figured that I'll uh, uh, I just go with it anyway um, listen thank you very very much for all your subscribing great comments uh, and uh, viewing uh, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe so please can you hit the subscribe button right now I need you guys to hit the subscribe button I want you to tell your brothers mothers fathers sisters teachers call them up and say listen this guy's got a Leonardo da Vinci painting uh, is 565 years old and it's magnificent for the art of the museum in Paris um, it's the older more mature Mona Lisa it has approximately his estimate is over two trillion images in it front and back I got over 500 YouTubes and I got over 2300 images that are in there that are identical this is not considered to be the sense of what I just said of of um, matching one on one it is extremely close to where I'm still needed to work out. It's one of my worksheets that I decided to do. But you can see the similarity. You can see, check out my other YouTubes and you're gonna be blown away on a lot of the images. I am an amateur. I'm an amateur with pure heart, honesty, and nothing's been altered. And with that, I got to say, would you please stay inside, stay safe, and God bless the whole world, the universe, and heavens. With your help, we'll all live and love and have a great life on this earth that God has given us. In Jesus' name, amen.